Yes, so yes, so ladies and gentlemen, it's in my fault. They call me a fay. You can get all my songs on Boom Play right here, right there, and right here on Boom Play. Keep streaming, keep downloading, keep vibing, keep sharing. They call me a fay. Worry, 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 so can you tell us about Nonstop the Playlist? When did you start working on it? I started working on Nonstop the Playlist last year, uh, the, the last quarter. It was supposed to be released um, early this year, but based on logistics, I had to take it to the current release date. But it's just an Afrobeat themed playlist. It's driven by the fact mm -hmm. that I just wanted the playlist where once you click on the first track, you're just listening to the whole vibe nonstop throughout. So that's the idea of non-stop, the playlist. And I didn't want to um, just give it the conventional style of just dropping different songs and not mm. actually blending with each other. Like so it's kind of like a continuous flow. It's a continuous flow, exactly. That's the main idea behind non-stop, the playlist. And on the other part, it's actually telling a point I am in my career, which is I'm in a place where it's non-stop. There's no stop. There's no stopping for me. It's a, it's a continuum. After this, we're dropping more stuff. So it's just letting myself know and my fans know that I'm here non-stop, never stopping, never ceasing. We keep moving. How would you? I'm curious to know how would you describe your sound? Because now this is an Afrobeat tape. Yeah. And everybody knows that if it raps as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So how how do you define your sound? Um, I, you know, from research and observation, I noticed um. As a rapper, you could vibe on Afrobeat without, without necessarily rapping the conventional way. You could just say it in a different way and it's a vibe. And being African and being Nigerian, I don't, it's an advantage for me to sing when it's necessary because you don't need to be the conventional singer on an Afrobeat. If you just have a good vibe that goes with the beat, then you're there. So there will be less, less rapping on this and more singing, if you want to quote unquote say. But I just feel like I call it a vibe, more vibes on this. Yeah, that's just basic idea. Yeah, so how, 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 how would you call, uh, describe your music journey since you were making music before you got into Big Brother Nigeria? Obviously, and yeah. Achieved fame. So yeah. after Big Brother, you became super famous and you kept pushing the music. How has it been since if you came out of Big Brother Nigeria? The journey? Oh yeah, it's, it's actually been awesome to say because um, the essence of going to the house or, or winning or just being a part of such platform was to draw my awareness to my music and so I achieved that. So getting that now, I'm trying, I'm using the awareness I have on the platform to accelerate my music career. But that's my whole drive, music, 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 and that's what I'm basically pushing. So it's been great, it's been sweet, and with exposure has come a lot of challenges, so you can't take that away. So, but so far so good, I'm really happy and grateful that the pace my music is going, there's a lot of growth, both as an artist and as an individual, so I'm excited. And that's why I can't wait for people to listen to this playlist, because it is sick. It is... I'm very confident of this. Usually, I don't know, like, I don't know about all artists. For me, every song I've recorded is no more my favorite song. It's the next one I'm about to record that gives me more joy and pleasure. So, but for this, I keep listening to it over and over. I'm like, yo, man, you've made mad jams. Just take it no stress because i criticize myself I'm, a, I'm my biggest critic oh wow yeah 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 before i release a song i don't even feel it it's just people around i, I play like oh what is he mad i'm like okay if you say so but me nah i don't feel it ah nice 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 yeah. okay uh still on non-stop the playlist uh there uh, you know artists that you featured on the playlist so it's just you uh this is this playlist is strictly me mm -hmm, okay. i just want people to see a different side of me as an artist and that i didn't want to make it any 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 more complex so i just did strictly me all the songs when you're listening to non-stop you know you're listening to ife back to back to back mm, yeah interesting yeah uh, what about the producers who are the producers you worked with for this tape yeah i worked with um close to five producers oh interesting yeah 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 and they are pretty the bubbling producers right now right. i have tropical music i have um carpenter i have bando and I have crazy tunes. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are not really the popular ones, you know, but trust me, they are sick. They're sick. And 
this is an opportunity for you watching me now to know that you're listening to them you're hearing their names here first and these are the guys that are about to take over and we're coming together with the full force so shout out to them by the way for sticking with me for my disturbance my late night recordings and every stuff we went through so bless up to everybody who made the project when you you know when you when you set out to like write a song or make a project do you have like a certain pattern you follow is there a process you follow your your creative process or songwriting process oh yeah um, i enjoy making projects than releasing singles oh wow yeah because i when you're making a project you already have a vision a drive of as to how you want it to sound yeah. it's yeah. more difficult than making a single single is sometimes it may be a freestyle or just an idea but when you're having a project you know okay this is where i want to take this to and in in the in in time immemorial immemorial or in history it'll be written that at this point i released this project so that's a huge drive for me so but usually for this project it was just simply um when it comes to topics of the project it's love and infatuation mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's where i just wanted to take it to so most of the songs you hear, i'm either talking of love or how a girl's ass is so sexy and you know and how i want to get some so that's the whole idea so you know that your inspiration has been your ideas of which will be channeled towards Some, yeah, love and area, infatuation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of you know love, infatuation, women. You know when you came out of Big Brother, you were a huge star. You were very popular. How did you deal with you know attention from women? Uh, you I, do it. You do it as a normal G now. No long thing. No stress. Just normal. Do you, Do you have someone in your life at the moment? Yeah, I do. Oh wow. Yeah. Was this, did this relationship start before Big Brother or after Big Brother? Uh, it's after, after ah, Big Brother. Okay, yeah. all right, nice. Does that relationship, you know, has it influenced any of the songs you've written? Yeah, definitely. You know. I, I make songs out of my experience. And so in one way or the other, it has inspired different things I've talked about in the whole EP. But I try, I, I intentionally didn't want to make this project personal. Yeah, so it wasn't, it's not totally off my experience. Sometimes it's just seeing around, you know, going to clubs, seeing what people like, like what the girls like, what you like to tell a girl and stuff. So let's just say. But some are personal though, but I can't specify which is personal and which is not, because I don't want people to know what's happening right now, what's not happening. Um, you know, people always reference your set on Big Brother, that like you guys were really lit, you guys were super popular, you guys connected with the audience. And sometimes we hear people say, you know, the people who have come after, you know, you guys, they've not, and they've interacted with the audience, but not at the same level as you guys. Why do you think that is? Bro, to be honest, I don't know. I'm not a specialist on, on those analysis. So I, I, I honestly don't know. As I did yes, so man, the only thing I'm thinking about is non-stop the playlist, and where I'm taking it to, and that's to say. Do you still interact with people from your set? Definitely. Those are human beings, so we have to interact, and they're dope people, like you already said, so sure. Okay. All right, so long stuff, the playlist comes out. Can we expect videos to come out? Yeah, well? definitely. We'll have as much videos as possible that come of the EP and the playlist or whatever, and see how it, how it goes from there. But definitely, there will be videos. I'm currently thinking of working on two videos for a start and we'll see how it goes. Then afterwards, maybe touring and stuff. Touring? Wow, yeah. interesting. That's not something that you know, a lot of artists uh, do. Uh, yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, I also, um, I'm guilty of this because um, before getting to this level as an artist, I said when I get to a bigger platform and I'm well known, right? I'll do a lot of touring in Nigeria because I notice it's not really a habit here. Yeah, true. But um, the planning, when I, go in, when I go here, I notice the logistics involved. It's not really favorable for an artist because it's difficult to get sponsorship and you, you rarely make money off your gate, your tickets. Ticket sales. So at the end of the day, when you wait, you find out you're always on the losing side. So you either talk for awareness, just the way certain brands do adverts for just awareness without yeah. making direct money, yeah. or you tour because you want to make money. And it's difficult here in Nigeria because uh, most the corporate bodies, they don't 
support Tori in urban artists. Like if you go with your proposal, it's always they have the activations and stuff. And so it's it's quite challenging to say you want to tour in Nigeria, to be honest. Because if the gate fees used to work, then, then I don't see any reason why I wouldn't have toured in the past years. But as they say, when there's a problem, you have to find a solution. So mm -hmm. that's basically what I'm working on. See how I could talk, make money and, or break even at most and, you know, make it happen. Okay. So apart from touring and, you know, trying to figure out how touring can work, you know, what other challenges do you face as an artist? What are the challenges? Uh, what are the challenges as an artist? Um, I really, I really can't even uh, remember any now because usually when there are challenges, I just face them. I move because this is like daily life stuff for me. So honestly, I can't really remember any challenge right now as an artist. Oh, nice. All right. So in conclusion, what can people expect from Nonstop the Playlist? What should they expect? What should they look out for? They should just look out for happy feel-good music that's full of vibe trust me sure songs you could listen to in your car from track one to track six and not be bored and, and just feel good they shouldn't expect any so much intellectual things it's just vibe basically and enjoy yourself happy yourself vibe that's just it Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.